out the weather, what's it like outside? Check out the ground, check out the sky. What word would you use to describe what you see? What is the temperature? How many degrees? Hi guys, this is Storm Tracker Audrey, reporting for Mullican Morning Weather. Today is a high of 57 and a low of 50, and it's cloudy. Here's a weather fact. Did you know fall occurs from sep September 21st through December 21st? That's three months. See you guys next week and happy National Pumpkin Day. Good morning, Malika. Today is Friday, October 26, 2018. Mrs. Sheldon here, and these are your morning announcements. Attention 6th through 8th grade students. You have a few more days left. The VFW is sponsoring the Patriots Pen Contest, which gives students an opportunity to write essays expressing their views on an annual patriotic theme. The national winners will receive at least $500. The first place national award is currently $5,000 plus an all-expense paid trip to Washington, D.C. for the winner and a parent or guardian. If you would like to participate, please see me for an application and all entries must be received by October 31st, next Wednesday. Next week begins Red Ribbon Week. Make sure to check the schedule that was sent out in homerooms last week. On Monday, October 29th, the theme is I Can, You Can, We All Can Be Drug Free. Make sure you wear red for kickoff. On Tuesday, October 30th, friends don't let friends do drugs. Make sure to dress alike. You can be twins, triplets, go big, and do quadruplets if you like. And on Wednesday, October 31st, on Fall Festival for Halloween, Hocus Pocus drugs aren't our focus. Make sure to wear school-appropriate costumes. You will also have the primary school students parading around the school outside, and the middle school will be watching them in the gym. November 1st is Thursday. Team up against drugs. Make sure to wear your sports team's jerseys and apparel. And on Friday, November 2nd, drugs are are bad. Dress like a pirate or wear Cedar Creek High School apparel. Make sure to check the schedules and we can't wait to see you all next week. And now, here is your weekly wrap up. The annual recyclables competition is on. Are you ready? Please participate. We will participate during a four week period. Find out which school collects the largest amount of recyclables. The ACU and Keep America Beautiful are running this competition called Recycle Bowl. Students and staffs can help our recycling effort at our school. Our school. Please, please recycle paper cans and containers that have the numbers one through seven on the bottom. Please do not put paper towels, or garbage in the recycling cans. Recycle all the recyclables you can. <laughs> we are going to work together to make our school cleaner and greener. How This is Hayden with a new series, Drawing of the Week. I'm asking you <laughs> to draw for us. Turn in your drawing in the box near the R room and it might be on the house. I'm Liam and this is our meme of the week. <laughs> we enjoyed our meme of the week. Bye! Hey guys, I'm Patrick. And I'm Paul. And welcome to the NFL game of the week. This week game with the Redskins versus the Fat Cowgirls with the Redskins barely stealing the victory. The game started by the Redskins scoring a touchdown by an awesome pass by Alex Smith. Then the ball was caught by number 40, Alvin Walton. The game ended with the Cowgirls missing the winning field goal. <laughs> I, I can't see! Delete it, delete it, we're actually going to run time. Welcome to the Atlantic Care Project Fit America. 
We are happy it is such a beautiful day. Thank you for coming out. We are glad all of you could make it. As a student body, we are glad that we have this new equipment. This affects all of us by giving us new ways to learn physical challenges. It gives us a chance to build up our fitness levels and encourages us to keep going and it makes the finish line look not so far away. I know personally it helps a lot to work towards a goal, in this case, health and wellness. This is good not only for, for the school, but for the community. Now, now, fit to freeze. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Lisa Freeze. Small Potential School would like to thank the Atlanta Care Foundation and other supporters for funding the Project Fit grant to our school. Because of you, Project Fit America will provide indoor and outdoor fitness equipment, on-site teacher training, and lesson plans to support our students. We thank you for giving us the opportunity to improve our health, which fosters better learning habits and academic achievement. Project Fit America will benefit me and all of these students here today for the rest of our lives. Again, we thank you. Now to Hannah Racine. Good afternoon. My name is Hannah Racine. To me, having a healthy lifestyle is caring enough about your well-being to put in extra effort so that you feel good about your physical health. A healthy lifestyle is also possessing emotional wellness. You want to wake up happy and mentally ready for the day so that you can face the challenges that life throws at you. I believe that Project Fit America equipment will help me achieve my goals and the goals of others. <laughs> another chance when we walk through those doors. Everybody gets to be a better human being and when you walk out those doors, I want you to remember two things. Number one, you are perfect just the way that you are. Everybody say, I am perfect. I am perfect. You did that well. Now here's what I want you to do. Second thing is, I want you to realize that the people sitting around you are perfect the way that they are. I want you to turn to someone and say, you are perfect. You are perfect. Everybody look up this way. Tonight, I hope to see you at 6.30. What time? 6.30. Yeah. 
right here in this room. We'll see you guys tonight. I love you, students.